Uh, okay. All right, we're going to do some burn rate testing. So, Russ with rwgresearch.com here. And uh, we're going to do some more burn rate testing with some different... Um, those are stainless steel discs, right? 316 stainless. All right, 316 steel uh, stainless discs. Um, we're, again, I have to tell you this. I am not trying to build a flashback arrester. I am trying to build a flame on the front of one of these discs. I'd like to be ceramic. So just remember that, whoever watches this. Um, I do have this uh, arrester from JDC Products. He did ask me to put a check valve in front of here. I will link a video in the description as of why from Bruce Energetics, I believe it was. So there's the setup. So we're going to test this one right now. Uh, again, got my safety string and blow off. Um, the setup here is the vortex tube separator owl cell. I already made a little so you can't really see in there. Yeah, you can kind of see them in there. And uh, the uh, homemade built from junk battery charger. And I got Hans Solo Solo, Solo one, 1 here with me. He's the one who brought the discs and uh, might leave me a few if this works and we'll continue testing with them. But uh, let's, uh, let's start it up. I got this on a switch now. Took off all the electronics that were doing everything for uh, energizing. This is just for powering my pump. This little fan. And that's about it. Everything else is uh, high powered off the battery charger. So we'll go ahead and kick it on here and we'll get a nice vortex going. And uh, we'll set the camera down and do our flashback test. I got different, uh, pull out those, you got those out? And we'll set those out. There goes my vortex. And watch, there goes my water up the wall. All the way up to the top and everything goes down the bottom. It's pretty cool. So here's what we got. Um, here you go. These are the discs. If you hadn't seen my other video, these are the discs. Um, what are these? 16th? 16th inch thick. All right, 16 16th inch thick. And he has these inside this little device quickly made up at uh, Lowe's. Oh, nice. um, they're actually lo what look like what water water seal <coughs> washers. Yeah, they're for uh, garden hose. Okay, so he's got garden hose washers in here, and we'll take this apart and show you after we do our final test. Right now there is a 40 micron size in here. Here are the sizes. 40 micron all the way down to 0 0.02 or 0.2? That's uh, 0.2 micron. Alright, and this thing is like, almost just looks like solid. So if, uh, just so you know, this will pop off uh, at about 8 psi. So if we have back pressure of 8 psi in this hose, we'll pop that off. And we will test these discs and see when this pops off so we'll know what our flow rate is for now. So there you go. So let's get started. Okay guys, so while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and use this flow meter. I know this is for oxygen and I'm not using oxygen, but it'll give us an idea of what the flow is. I'm going to use this for every single one of these discs and we'll have at least an idea of what's going on. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and kick this HHO generator on. And uh, this should be wide open. We'll see what our flow is. It's probably going to be jumping because of our uh, bubbles. It's not a nice even pressure. There goes my water the wrong way. I was afraid of that. Hold on. i got to drain my water back down. I knew that was going to happen. I'll just do it. Oh, now i got too much water in the bottom. Yeah, well. Alright. So you can see it's jumping. And uh, we may not be able to do our flow checks with this meter because it's so small. But we'll try it anyway while we're doing this. Alright, good enough. That's with nothing. Those discs might thin, thin out the... Uh, smooth it out? Yeah, smooth it out a little bit. Alright, so let's try it with... Uh, with just this meter here, with this. Alright, so that's with just Justin from JDC Products. That's his arrester. Now my flow rate's pretty small, so it's not going to be very much, but that's what it is. It's just a 
Uh, balls between one and two. All right, so one and a half. You gotta read the right in the center of the ball. Yeah, it's right in the center. So it's half a liter meant rather. All right, about half a liter. So this might not be great for this test, but at least we tried it. And we'll try this flashback and see what happens. All right. We're gonna go ahead and give this a shot. I've got uh, Justin's flashback arrestor from JDC Products. And uh, going in the corner, I'll stay way back here. <laughs> just in case. So here we go, Justin. Let's see if your flashback arrestor works. Ah, so far so good. I'm liking that. Alright. I feel safe already. <laughs> Definitely blowing out some smoke. Or, or steam. So, or steam, I guess, could be. It's meant to be a hydrogen oxygen back in the water. That's gonna do it. I ain't gonna squirt the disc. I ain't gonna burn in the disc. All right. So there's your answer. So far, so good. I'm feeling safe already. Justin, good job. Nice work. So as soon as I get enough, I like to get close to the camera, and I'll show you guys that. As soon as I get enough out of there, it pops. Now we'll, we'll try the 40 micron disc and see if we can get it to sustain 16th inch thick. All right, uh, you're stepping in the hose. <laughs> All right, this is this is uh, 40 microns, 16th inch disc. And we're gonna check flow. All right, she'll get real close here. All right, it'll focus in. There you go. So pretty much about the same flow rate. Probably not restic restricting anything. So we're going to go ahead and uh, you'll be able to see the flashback because of how this is. I'm going to go ahead and stand back here again. Just for safety measures. And uh, here we go. Oh, it stayed in front of it, didn't it? Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One sixteenth inch stainless steel forty micron disc. Well, that's what I'm talking about. I am so happy. I'm, I'm amazed that that's working. That that's impressive because I thought it'd go right through. So my theory with the battery caps does work. Thank you. It's just that I can't use plastic. I'm excited. There you go. You have made my day. That's that's pretty impressive. We may not even need to try the smaller discs. We'll try a couple. Did that one flash back up? No, it didn't go through it. I didn't, I didn't see it go through it. It almost looked like it did, but we'll have to check the I footage. wasn't looking at the time. We'll, well, we'll check the footage. It's staying in front. All right, cool. Now what wow. we need to do is light right at the end of the disc and see what happens. Hey, that's cool. That's a good deal. I smell it. You can smell it. Whatever it is. <laughs> that's good. I'm so happy that works. I'm wow. so surprised. I'm, I'm honestly surprised because I figured the battery cap thing just I had really tried, threw me off. I had tried some thicker discs that were more porous. I don't know what they were for sure. I'm thinking they were 100 micron. And they wouldn't stop. That really? stopped it cold. Feel the pressure on that. Pretty good. Oh, that's impressive. <laughs> I'm impressed. New flashback direction. So I don't know if I fully trust this. I mean, you know what I'm saying? This is this is for testing, but right now, right now it's working. Watch your face, just in case. Alright, I'm going to get a little closer so you guys can see this. 
All right, blew my torch out. Oh, I gotta go. Thank you, sir. It's nice to have a guest and a host and uh, whatever else you want to call it. An assistant? <laughs> <laughs> you mad scientist, lad? All right, here we go. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Now we are at very low flow rates. This may, this may make a difference. The flow rate may make a difference. But, uh, but it is working. <laughs> Double bang. Alright, well, let's figure out what we're going to try next. The tube is very warm. And, uh, we'll be back.